quad you just saw is the Flyfish RC Volador 2, um, the 6 inch dead cat version. And it's the seventh quad that I have ever built, but the first quad that I truly haven't wanted to crash. Now, don't get me wrong, it's not because it can't take a crash or because it's a particularly expensive quad or any other ordinary reason. It's actually because it's the first quad I built as a sponsored pilot. And so I find myself caring about it a lot more because it represents the first time in my professional career doing anything where I've actually begun to feel supported and like my efforts are paying off. I've only been flying for four months, but in those four months, it's been the most challenging and exciting and insane time of my entire life. But from the very start, it was abundantly clear that if I was going to make the kind of content that I want to make, I was going to need some form of support. So a couple videos ago, after I did the review with the Volador 1, I reached out to Flyfish RC and asked if they'd consider being a long-term sponsor of the stuff I do here on this channel and over on TikTok and Instagram. And they agreed. So after my initial excited screaming and of course a brief victory dance, a couple weeks later, care package showed up and all the parts for this guy were in it. And that night, I ended up building from 5 p.m. to 5 a.m. because I just felt so motivated and wanted to make it as nice as possible because it feels like the beginning of something, you know? So you're probably wondering, is it any good? The quick answer is yes. Uh, for those of you that want to know the exact electronics that are in here, I'll list those on the screen now. Probably the most notable and important thing to discuss is the fact that it's a 6 inch. And that's kind of a weird in-between size because most people's long range builds are 7 inch and most people's freestyle builds are 5 inch. So what's the point of a 6 inch? And with some testing, I've kind of realized it's good for just mid-range cinematic stuff. The Dead Cat 6 inch feels like a table in the sky. It's very stable and I can really feel the wheelbase and the larger props just kind of keeping me in position better. As for maneuverability, um, I'm not really noticing much of a difference between my 4 and 5 inch. Other than the fact that I can't get through the same size gaps, I would actually say that the 6 inch is a little more maneuverable or just has better grip on the air, especially in corners. I can absolutely rip around and that feels really good for those swooping shots that I would want to get on a mid-range cinematic situation. Another thing that's particularly notable about this quad is it's the first one I've built with a DJI 03 air unit. I may do a separate video in the air unit, I may not, but one thing's for sure, it is so nice to just fly at a higher resolution. And that's actually what the whole build feels like. It feels like a luxury cruiser, something that I can go out and have fun flying with plenty of range, plenty of resolution, and plenty of stability and flight time, ripping around the park and not trying to destroy myself. And that's actually been a big learning curve for me is how to enjoy myself with mid-range cinematic. I know it's a style that a lot of pilots like to fly, but I guess I just have trouble with chilling out and enjoying myself. And I'm always trying to push the limits of my five inch quad and it does get exhausting after a while. So learning how to go to the park and sit down and just enjoy a build that I made that feels so quality has been a really cool experience and a fun change of pace on the channel because I've spent a lot of time destroying stuff as you guys know. And I plan on destroying more stuff of course. I can't keep myself away from it. But still, it's nice to chill every once in a while and this has been the perfect quad to do that with. But yeah, those are basically all my thoughts on the 6 inch. I do have a lot of thoughts on the Volador 2, however, and I'm saving those for next week because next week I'm going to do a full in-depth build on my go-to freestyle build with the Volador 2 5 inch and all the electronics and uh, we'll get into that. Let me know in the comments if you want it super in-depth to the point where you can follow along with the build or if you'd like it to be a little more narrative like I usually do and just sort of cut through it. I might do both, honestly. Um, have sort of a rough version where you can follow through the entire thing and then another one where it's quicker. But yeah, let me know your thoughts on that. So far I have yet to break anything on a Volador, which is a miracle of engineering, but maybe we'll manage to do that in the next video. Um, you're gonna have to subscribe to find out. So if you enjoyed this video and you'd like to contribute to the gas money that I burn, going to all these locations to get this footage. Feel free to check out my Patreon uh, in the description below. Everyone who signs up, I write their name on my controller so you show up on all my daily posts. And I really appreciate all my Patreon supporters whose names are here. And if you don't have the means to support me on Patreon, I get it, but luckily uh, you can subscribe for free. Anyways, thanks for stopping by and I will see you guys in the next video.